So just below the spot healing brush, you're going to see another tool that's called the clone stamp. So let's still go ahead and use that one. You can click the S on the keyboard or just go ahead and choose clone stamp. Now what this does is it basically clones an area that you tell it to. So for instance, if I come in here and I say, okay, I want to clone this little boy and I want to clone him so he's jumping over here. So I can hold down the Alt key. That will give me the target. That's the Option key on a Mac. I'm going to target him right here. Then I'm going to come over here and click and see how it's painting those pixels on over here. So I'm just going to kind of pull him in. Now it works really good with this type of photo because it is, you know, very similar. The pixels on the outskirts of him are very similar to what's being cloned. So this one works out pretty good. But the reason I probably would use a clone stamp tool would not be for this reason, but it would be for possibly something like this reason. Let's bring this in. And let's say, for instance, I wanted to get rid of this window right here. Well, I can take some samples of the outskirts of it. Like, for instance, if I make this really, really big and I come in here and I click that Alt key and I, I uh, put a target right about here and then I come over here and I start painting inside of here, I can keep doing that. I can hold down the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac, click one time and then come over here and see how it's kind of taking that. Now, what it's doing though, you can clone him, but I didn't want to. I want to take these pieces and clone over the top so that it looks like there's no window there because that was kind of a distraction. Now this tool is kind of hard to get used to, so I really need you to kind of practice it and then go over it a few times because see how it kind of did that there? It has those little dark edges well then I might have to come in here and just kind of go over it a couple times redo the target come down here over here over the top and you just got to kind of play around with it if you're really doing some intricate uh, photo retouching this would be a great tool to to get used to but for us digital scrapbookers we may not use this tool very often but it is called the clone stamp tool again you press your finger on the alt key you have this little target, see where it's over his nose right there. You can kind of play around with these uh, down here as well. I click one time, that gives me the target. I can come over here and I can clone his cute little face anywhere I want to on that page. So just kind of play around with the clone stamp tool. Again, I really don't use it very often, but you never know when it might come in handy. Don't leave yet because I have a question for you real quick. A lot of people ask me what kind of printer I use or where do I get my stuff printed. So I would love to know, A, what kind of printer do you use and do you print from home? I actually don't print from home. I have an Epson XP434. Like I said, I don't print from home, but I do print uh, all my copies off at Costco or Persnickety Prints or through Shutterfly. So please let me know where you get your uh, photos printed or your digital scrapbook pages printed and post it below so that everybody else can see. It's always fun to find out what kind of printer everyone has, if you print from home or not, or if you print outside of the house and where you print from. Thanks so much for helping everyone out and posting below. Bye for now.